Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, I've got some pretty exciting news. I've just got my bird, or <laughs> uh, Phallus adromius, um, to adult size. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, it has taken me a while. Um, I've been... Uh, <laughs> I've been killed a few times, eaten, and uh, had uh, fellow birds just be, uh, uh, what would you call it, pain in the bums, really, and kill me. Um, yeah, a lot of things have, uh, have happened over the journey, uh, but I'm really excited to say I've, I'm at the end, and I thought I would do a short video um just with some tips um if you are going to play perhaps you you're thinking about playing the bird and i'm going to refer to it as the bird uh from here on out <laughs> it is easier than uh Thallus um they're really cool and very different and of course uh, at this stage flyers are only on the gondwa map i think that's what it's called I hope i pronounced that right um but hopefully in the future um, there'll be another map um, crossover, so we can go back and play the other map. Um, but uh, yeah, this re really is a great dinosaur to play. Um, the flying aspect of it is so much fun, and it's done so well. Uh, and it gives you a completely different perspective um, than if you were just playing uh, one of the other dinosaurs. Uh, Know, boots on the ground style <laughs> and I do have a stegosaurus that I'm nearly at adult size and I've uh, just started an aloe as well actually so um, I sort of do have both sides of it now and um, yeah I really love the flying aspect of it uh, so yeah I'm basically going to uh, jump into the world and I'm going to give you a few quick tips uh, so yeah maybe you're just starting out as a flyer Maybe you're grinding your way to adult. Um, but hopefully they'll help you and um, give you a bit of a hand. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do a little bit of video. So I'm just going to um, enter the world here. And, uh, of course, uh, I'm in my home cave right now, which is uh, lesson number one. Whenever you're going to log out, uh, always try and go into your home cave now the big bonus of course with the home cave is that you will accrue bonus points when you do questing now that'll come up instead of the yellow questing bar it'll come up with a purple questing bar and that means you've got uh, sort of I, I don't know if it would be double or triple points but it's so worth it so my first recommendation and probably one of the most important things is always um, get to a home cave log out and then, yeah, the next day or the next couple of days or whenever it is you get back on, you're going to have a really nice bonus. And go for those easy quests that, uh, yeah, are going to get you those easy points. All right, so uh, let's head out into the world and have a look around. Okay, so we've come out into the uh, out of the home cave here. And we're just going to, one of my first things I say is when you come out of the home cave, get somewhere safe. <laughs> So I know this home cave very well. There's these little rocks up here. You can jump up here and have a look at our surroundings. So one very important thing when it comes to playing a bird is that your, uh, your health is very low. Or I should say your, um, your hit points or health points are very low. And you're quite easily killed, um, even as an adult. So one of the most important things is staying safe. Now, I mean, the obvious thing and probably the strongest point um, of this dinosaur is your, your capability to fly. So you can always fly out of danger. Now, an important aspect of that is keeping your stamina bar full. Now, as you can see there, we've got our stamina bar completely full, which is the white bar there. Now you want to try and keep that as full as possible at all times just to allow yourself the stamina to get away now 
this area is not so bad you can always fly say someone's coming at us right here which would be very unlikely as uh, we're on top of the rocks but say someone was and we can quickly uh, jump up jump over to this ledge um, now obviously that that was a fairly small example um, but yeah it's important to have oh, there's a dinosaur down there it's important to have enough uh, stamina to to be able to flee the situation or get to where you want to go now we're going to actually uh, I'm going to show you another thing another thing is uh, diving now, now you, you can fly of course but you can also dive <laughs> and then you can glide and we can dive again you can see how fast you get when you do that uh, diving is really cool and a good way to get somewhere fast or get out of danger we'll just say hello to these dinosaurs here <laughs> okay now obviously our stamina is still pretty high but as you can see we don't need to land there and put ourselves at risk. We can just come back up to the uh, cliffs up here. And we can uh, pop down here. Hang on. We'll just come down here. And there we go. We can get our stamina back. So that's probably the greatest strength of this dinosaur. You can just fly in, fly out, um, travel around very safely. You know, I try and travel from high point to high point, so like those rocks over there, the spire, or those far hills down there. And if you are high enough, yeah, you can always dive and get some really good speed, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so you just remember, yeah, try and keep your stamina as high as you can, so rest often. Um, I'll say drink often as well, so you don't need to spend too much time at the water. Uh, the water's edge is a very dangerous place. Um, as far as food, I don't usually get as concerned with the food as I sort of know some locations of uh, carcasses to eat. Um, but one of the good points um, about my build is I have the metabolism on Fisher. Now this enables me, enables me to eat fish um, as well as meat, which is very important. As soon as you can... Um, it's very important, I think, to become a fisher. Uh, you get a moderate food drain, but uh, it just allows you to have a lot more flexibility. So I think being a fisher is very important. Now, this location on the map, in case you want to know, is up here. Now, I, I actually call, this is Hunter's Thicket, but I actually call this corner of the map Rainbow Hills. Now, that's because of this area here, which is Rainbow Hills. And you've also got the teeth here, which are these deep holes. Now, they're excellent places to get fish. Um, fantastic places to get fish, actually. Um, so anytime you're hungry, you can just pop over here, and I'll, I will show you that. There's also usually a carcass um, on the beach there. Uh, Rainbow Hills is an awesome place to quest, as is Hunter's Thicket, and all of these areas around here. Um, there's a lot of points to be had and uh, it, it is quite a busy area um, but there's also a lot of fresh water to drink there's a lot of food um, you've got a home cave here as well and you've also got a uh, waystone so you've got everything you need here um, I've really loved this place and I've stayed here now for probably this end of the map probably half of my uh, adult life because uh, it's just so good to quest here. And, uh, yeah, I love sitting up here and watching the other dinosaurs go about their business. <laughs> so I'm going to show you another dive here. We're going to go for a bit of a dive. And we're going to go down and have a quick drink as we're getting, you know, our water level is getting low. And we're going to head over to Rainbow Hills, which is my favourite area to quest. So let's do this. Get some more height here. And we'll come down past these uh, <laughs> two dinosaurs here. So here we go. Uh, 
All right, so we're going to come over onto this side of the river. And you can see there's a, another bird there. Now just be wary of other birds as uh, they can be complete bastards. I'm a firm believer in never um, fighting one of your own kind, but uh, some people don't uh, heed to that credo. So we're going to, just because there was a bird there, we're going to play it safe. Come down into these thickets. We're just going to get our stamina back. And then we're going to pop over and get that drink. So again, if you think there might be other dinosaurs around or there could be any kind of danger, if it's possible, just get somewhere safe. Refill that stamina bar and, um, yeah, protect yourself. So I'm just going to come over to the river here. Like I said, we don't know that bird. We don't know if he's... Uh, safe or not so we're just going to come down here going to grab a quick drink now while you're having a drink be very wary people will sneak up on you i can hear footsteps uh, somewhere not far away okay so we're nice and full there so we're now going to Come up into Rainbow Hills. So that was Snake Gully, and this is Rainbow Hills. And you can see straight away why it's called Rainbow Hills. <laughs> I'm going to come down here and do a bit of a dive, get some speed up. And we'll stop here for a moment. Okay, so this is Rainbow Hills. Now I'm just going to make sure that flyer isn't uh, following us or something. <clears throat> now one reason why I like questing here is the quests here are very easy. You've got uh, succulents uh, challenge, uh, roots challenge. We're just going to pop down over here. And you've also got the... Uh, uh, bloodstone challenge now that's three challenges that you can get very quickly and very easily and uh, I usually find not many other dinosaurs come over to this area here of Rainbow Hills so you're usually here by yourself um, and not that I need to do any questing but I'll just show you here so one of them is the succulents it's very easy to get started on on this little hill here you've got a lot of succulents here and there's some under the tree here somewhere. All right, here we go. So as you can see, I'm I'm halfway to that quest already. Um, now, Rainbow Hills is really good. It doesn't have a lot of trees and stuff to get in the way. You can find everything very easily. Um, so yeah, I just love questing in this area, and I, I highly recommend it. Now we're just going to. Uh, going to fly over the water here okay so now as a carnivore of course you have these uh, hunt critter challenges one of the good things is that there's a uh, dial of fadon or whatever they're called uh, nest over here there's some more uh, succulents as well and some roots uh, so it's very easy to catch one of the guys here, and we'll do that now, eh? Now again, while you're disturbing one of these burrows, just, yeah, have a look around. Make sure there's no one here that's going to catch you by surprise. <laughs> I'm going to let him come out. Now these guys are very small. And the chase is on. There you go. So, yeah, very easy to catch one of these guys. Um, 
we do need food actually, so we might, uh, we'll fill up our food here, even though I was going to show you, uh, the fishing, but, uh, that's alright. Actually, I will show you that. Okay, so yeah, anyway, there's one food source. <laughs> but the great thing is, just here on the shore, uh, you've got a washed up shark. So, again, when you are hungry, you can easily come over here, grab your fill of uh, fresh, well, <laughs> freshly washed up shark. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's another massive bonus for this area. You've got questing. In Rainbow Hills, you've got a cave, you've got the waystone, you've got food, you've got critters, um, you've got fresh water. Uh, there's not really much else that you need. Uh, now, one thing, of course, this is salt water here, so you don't want to be drinking that unless it's a uh, dire emergency. But I'm going to show you now the uh, the best best thing about this area when you become a fisher. And that is the teeth. Now that's uh, this rock out, rocky outcrop here. We're actually just going to land for a moment. And I'm just going to uh, fill my stamina bar up. Now again, whenever you, whenever you're resting and filling your stamina, just look out. Make sure there's no flyers. Uh, like I said, you know, not everyone is a nice person in this game. Some people will just kill you for no reason at all. So just watch out for other flyers and scan for other dinosaurs. Um, but this first little part of the teeth here, I'm going to show you why it's so good. Now hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully they're here on this occasion. I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to go diving in. I really love doing that. Now usually there's a whole lot of manta rays here. Aha, uh -huh. well. We've only got a... Oh, no, here they are. They're starting to spawn now. Now, these are a great source of food and very easy to catch. As you can see, you just come up underneath them, catch them and swallow. Oh, and you're done, and you're full. So it's a great source of food. Um, so as I said earlier... I'm just going to get up onto the shore here. As I said earlier... Um, I don't worry about food too much because whenever I am hungry I've got the shark there or I've got these uh, manta rays which are an easy catch. There's also fish in the nearby uh, lake here in this deeper part of the lake so um, once you get start your fishing career <laughs> um, you'll never be hungry again and well not in this area anyway. Um, there's also a lot of times challenges for shellfish and the turtle shells here and they're spread out all across the beaches. Okay, what else is there that I can tell you? Well, yeah, this, this is, um, that's about it. I, I, obviously, I could go into a lot more detail um, about the, the thaler or the bird, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, a, it's a great dino to play. I love it so much. Because if, a do let's say, a dino is coming up to get us right now... Um, just do this <laughs> and it's so great um, and I think it makes a really nice change from the um, the ground based dinosaurs um, and while they are great and fun in their own right um, yeah I've really loved getting this dinosaur to adult stage um, it's just so satisfying and so much fun and i can't wait to just keep coming back and and playing as this dinosaur and yeah and having a bit of fun um now on occasions i have paired up with other birds and it's been so <laughs> so cool um to fly around as a group um yeah and i'm uh, i did go if you look back in my earlier videos i did do a video on me creating this dinosaur and I went for this sort of blue blue look with the head. And uh, I went for a sort of a, what I would consider a bird look. Um, 
and then the body sort of pattern and I think it's come up really cool um, of course you don't look like this when you first start out but uh, you know pretty soon you start looking towards your the end result and uh, yeah I think it's well worth it okay so I think we might just fly back to the cave here and we'll have a bit of a We'll do the scenic route. We'll pop over to that uh, larger hill over there. And uh, I'll leave it there. But yeah, doing those dives make us, makes it really fun and easy to get around. And you can see here, straight away, you've got a nice area to drink, which we might do again anyway, hey? Eh? Again, just be wary of other flyers, other dinosaurs. You know, wearing a headset is... Uh... Oh, here it comes now. Here comes the other bird. Now, we don't know if they're friendly or not, so I'm going to presume they're not. So let's just get out of here. Yeah, normally I would sort of message that person probably and try and team up. I'll send a friendly uh, invite. Now I'm just going to quickly stop here and recharge. Okay. I know the cave is up in that area there. Oh, and there you go. That can happen. <laughs> That's one thing the bird... Can, uh, you can crash into the pine trees, etc. I was just going to stop here for a minute. Oh, and there you go. That can happen as well. So there you go, I've uh, been flying a long time and I'm still clumsy. <laughs> Let's get in the home cave here. So yeah, in, in summary, um, that's probably the, the only things you have to be really be wary of are other birds. As uh, you know, you might so get to somewhere you think is safe. The only other tyno that's really going to get there is another bird. And like I said, that guy seemed friendly, and, and I have a feeling I might have teamed up with them before. But um, always be careful of other dinosaurs. Um, so yeah, be mindful of wherever you go. Try and keep your stamina as high as you can. Uh, don't crash into things like I just did. <laughs> um, and play it safe, you know, especially when you're smaller. You will, you'll just die instantly if another dinosaur um, gets at you. So just be very careful. Um, use that questing bonus time when you come out of caves to uh, to get your growth rate up um, and find somewhere like I have this little corner of the map here I know very well uh, and I know I can quest easily I can get food and water easily um, find somewhere on the map you like that um, yeah you, you know you can keep coming back to and help get you to that adult stage Anyway, I hope you've been, really enjoyed this video. Um, I've enjoyed making it. I, I'm really so glad to be at the adult stage. Um, it has taken a while, but it's been well worth it. And I'm looking forward to getting my other dinosaurs <laughs> up to adult as well. Um, yeah, I'm st I'd still call myself a relatively newbie at this game. So, uh, still learning and still loving it. Um, so, I think I might jump on one of my other dinos now and progress them along uh, so please check out my channel check out the rest of my my videos uh, but anyway bye for now and i'll catch you in the next video see you later